Russian invasion of Ukraine is leading to economic impacts already being felt here in the U.S. 12 News consumer reporter Gina Marini spoke with a local professor and breaks down what we can expect. Gina. Kim, the Bryant University professor says there's still a lot of unknowns, but does confirm the Ukraine crisis is going to increase prices across the board in the U.S. Even before the Russian attack in Ukraine, the price at the pumps had been going up. I drive back and forth to work and then I take my daughter obviously to her dance and I feel like I'm using more gas than ever. The latest consumer price index data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows the price of gas has gone up by 40 percent from January of last year through January of this year. You're going to see gas prices go up well into the four dollar range, uh, maybe five dollars. University of Rhode Island economics professor Richard McIntyre says the price of oil has been rising for three months and says the Russian invasion is going to push up prices even more. Then energy, Russia is a giant, but energy prices are not going to be helped by this over the next 12 months. That's happening overseas will increase everything across the board for Americans. Yes. Bryant University Professor of Economics Dr. Ramesh Mohan says the price per barrel of oil on Thursday hit $105. If that goes up to $110, he says the U.S. will top inflation rates higher than 10 percent, something he says hasn't been seen since the early 80s. Commodities could experience price volatility, namely wheat, uh, barley, uh, corn, and even metal, you know, is going to have an impact. The economic impact will depend on the scale of the fighting and the new sanctions that the U.S. and its allies have promised. Dr. Mohan says a crisis is causing consumer and investor uncertainty and is having major impact on the stock market. A prolonged market downturn here would wipe out the wealth built by families in the stock market and also in the retirement account. And Dr. Mohan says interest rates for mortgages, credit cards, and car loans could also go up if inflation reaches 10%. Live in the control room, Gina Marini, 12 News.